Pulse Chain versus Solana, again, this is kind of just, uh, it's not really for debate points. Uh, this is more of just like, hey, I want to show Pulse Chain's strengths, obviously. So, uh, and then show some opportunity, right? Like price and history, less than one cent, $100. Again, if you want to really dig into market caps, you want to really dig into, you know, all the speeds and all that stuff too, you can. But I think a lot of these are pretty compelling points, honestly. Like you can see opportunity, you can see soccer one, you can see if you value community stuff instead of, you know, getting quote dumped on by the VCs type of thing. Uh, you know, Pulse Chain there. You got the transactions, um, you know, as far as, uh, what is this, 200? So again, potential, like the lower numbers, uh, a lot of these times could be, you could read this and be like, oh, it's only got, you know, over a billion transactions, only over a billion transactions. I look at, I'll get to Polkadot in a minute, but it's, Polkadot's a little funny. When I started digging in these other chains and stuff, like some of their stats are just kind of funny from from what I'm used to. Uh, you know, and the game theory and, and uh, tokenomics and stuff in the, in this ecosystem. And validators, again, some people brought up, um, these are not all servers. Well, I don't know if the Solana ones are all servers either. So again, you can have multiple validators per server. The real number of servers is TBD. I wish I could uh, find open source version of ETH node. I think it's called ether, ethernode.org, which shows all this stuff. It's, pretty, it's an amazing website, ethernodes.org. And you could see the breakdowns of clients. I wish we had this for Pulse Chain. If it was open source, I might just fork it for Pulse Chain. Like that's how much I like it. I cannot find the source code for it. If you can, please let me know. I cannot find the source code for this website, the backend services they use to collect the data, all this stuff. But you can see uh, various different stats, operating systems, you see Linux rules, of course. I don't know who's running Windows nodes, but apparently there's a few in Mac too. Um, sync status, uh, but just getting these kind of metrics it's pretty cool. And uh, anyways, you can search by IP address and, and all that stuff. Let's see if you, yeah, if you do browse. So this type of data we could use to count the number of servers because we have all the data. If we could see all the ones reporting, then we could filter down it and come up with uh, more interesting numbers as far as servers and stuff go to. But we don't. So we got the data we have. That's, that's what I found to research in some of these chains. I'm like, there's just not a lot of clear data to even do some of the comparisons. So no downtime, down 10 times. Yeah, that's, uh, if you search like at least 10 times, uh, I think there's maybe even more, but I think the consensus round number is like, there's literally articles written that say like Solana is down 10 times. Why? All that stuff. Uh, proof of stake versus proof of stake, proof of history. I really like to bring out this point too, the technology fee burning Ethereum for versus an inflationary network, a token like that. Of course, Ethereum is sort of deflation. It's, Technically inflationary, but it has deflationary uh, features, say it like that. And it depends on the, the, the different network stats and volume and transactions and all that stuff too. So there may be a day, depending on the, the network success, where Ethereum and Pulse Chain become deflationary just by so much usage and so much uh, adoption and stuff like that.